This is Hall County Sports, brought to you by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals. Remember, when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair, a full-service shop for all of your automotive needs. Call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair, 770-535-7278. And by McEver Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McEver Road in Oakwood. With three worship services, Kids Town and Adult Small Groups, McEver Road United Methodist Church, dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Hall County Sports Television. I'm your host, Gary Glenn. We cover some springtime and some wintertime action this show. First up, let me tell you about tennis. Not too long ago, the number eight Bernal University tennis team played their first match in the NAIA National Championship in the second round of the tournament. Golden Tigers faced off against Vanguard University of California at the Mobile Tennis Center in Alabama. After three doubles and five singles matches, the score was four all, and all eyes were on the competition at the number six spot. Stephanie Moniz rose to the occasion as she grasped the Golden Tigers' fifth and final victory of the match, 6-1-6-1, the final 5-4 in favor of the Golden Tigers. They were 11-7 on the season, heading into their quarterfinal match against the top seed, Fresno Pacific. Sunbirds wound up winning that 5-love as the match was over when Fresno had that insurmountable lead. Moniz to the Tigers, though, never lost her focus. She was winning her match in the number six spot, 6-4-2-1 when the match was called. Meanwhile, four of the seven Bernal tennis players, also named Scholar Athletes, seniors Lyubov Orlova of Russia, Kate Matchakova of Czech Republic, and Nelly Martorosian of Armenia, and junior Lin C. Chu of Malaysia, all named Scholar Athletes. Now, a junior, Lin also made first team the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics All-American with the second straight year. She was second team her freshman year, and we bring to the show now the first year head coach of the Bernal Golden Tigers tennis team, Andre Ferreira. Andre, welcome to the show. Thank you. How Glad has it been your first year? I mean, you get in there and you're competing on the national level, win a lot of matches. Uh, I know you would like to have won a lot, a lot more, but I, I'm assuming that eight of those, uh, you were 11 and eight overall in the season. I'm mm -hmm. assuming that a number of those eight losses were to people who were probably a little bit higher than you or maybe even in the NCA or something like that? Correct. Uh, our schedule really is a, it's a mix of NCAA, uh, NAI. We play several different teams and our losses came to big time schools. We lost to Emory. Uh, we lost to the number one seed, uh, the national champion in NAI, Auburn University Montgomery, who, are, who they play on our conference. And then we also lost to a few Division two schools that are ranked really high, so we we had a very successful t uh, season. If you look into all the teams we played and the competition, and I think it really helped us because we played some a tough schedule and it helped us for the national championship. Uh, Fresno, how did they wind up finishing in the in the national tournament? They lost in the final. They were number one seeds, and and they lost to Auburn University Montgomery uh, in the final. Wow. Yeah. So uh, yeah, again, some of your losses have come against some really quality quality program. Correct, and we had to play at Auburn University of Montgomery twice in the season, so two of our losses came to AUM, um, and they ended up winning. They were not the number three seeds, but it's nice to see somebody from our conference yeah. winning the championship. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself now. How did you wind up at Brunel? Well, yeah. Give me your odyssey from, from tennis, yeah. how you yeah. came there. My, my, my story is very similar to the players that we have at Brunel right now. Uh, I grew up in Brazil, so overseas, and I came to the United States with the dream of playing college tennis and, and continue my studies. And uh, I ended up in Rome, Georgia, uh, at Berry College. And Berry was uh, NAIA school as well, and now they're in the process of changing to Division III, NCAA Division III. So we were in the same conference as Bernal. So I knew Bernal, I knew the coach. Um, and then I finished my undergraduate at Barry. Then I became the assistant coach at Barry College for two more years. Um, after I got my master's, I moved to Macon, Georgia, uh, really quickly to work at a country club. And then the position came open at, at Bernal, and, and and I came up. Well, there you go. I noticed, uh, and Bernal has a long history of this, Andre, of recruiting mm -hmm. international players, and that seems to be the case here. Uh, one of your predecessors told me it, it, a lot of times it's because some of these players are older, mm -hmm. they'd like to play collegiate tennis in the United States, and perhaps for some reason they don't qualify or they're not interested in, or maybe some of the NCAA schools don't find out about them. Uh, correct. There's, there's actually several reasons why this happens. Um, 
the caliber of player that we can find in internationally, like you said, they've been playing tennis for a while, sometimes they're older and they can't go to an NCAA Division I school and they end up, they end up at NAI. Uh, and the, the other reason is uh, we, would like, we would love to bring some American players, but the American players that are at the same level that we can recruit internationally, they're playing at Division I schools. Mm -hmm. uh, so we find very difficult to bring American players to the NAI, you don't see that many. Um, and we we just end up bringing internationally because they can play at a very high level and, and help our program. Um, of course, you're graduating some of these great seniors, and one of the things you have to be proud of too is all these scholar athletes you have. You got yeah. uh, four of the seven players are scholar athletes. Yeah, it's amazing. And really, you're only eligible for this award if you're a junior or senior. So if you count that, then four out of five of our juniors and seniors. So we're talking about. Well, eighty percent of our athletes that qualify for that award received it, so it's, it's very impressive. They, and I don't think that that's because of me. That's because of them. <laughs> Lynn C. Chu must really be something for you. She's yeah. All American and a scholar athlete at the same time. Yeah, she's she's been great for a program. I mean, she she's competing against the toughest players because she's at the number one spot, and um, still she's had one of the perhaps the best record on our team playing at number one singles and also succeeding in the in the classroom so that's that's what we're trying to do well, coach got to ask you now i mean uh, number eight in the country and playing a tough tough schedule uh, what you got coming back for next year yeah we <laughs> we're in trouble <laughs> 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 we, we're losing three of our players we're losing the number two player she graduated uh the number four player she's graduating in december and our number six slash seven um, is graduating in December as well. So we're losing three out of our seven. Um, so I, we, we need to bring three very strong recruits for next year. So we're struggling to find new players to replace them. That'll be tough. All right. Well, obrigado, senor. <laughs> Thanks, for coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. All right, Andre Ferreira, good luck. Coach to the Golden Tigers tennis team. It's a, a strong tradition of tennis over there for now, mm -hmm. and I know you're keeping it up. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, <laughs> we've got more Hall County Sports View in just a moment. We are Gainesville Church of God. We have help, hope, and healing. Hallelujah. Join us for personal prayer, Saturday, June 25th at 10.30 a.m. Stay in the privacy of your car. This is open to everyone without obligation. Come as you are. Let us share God's gift of help, hope, and healing with you. Also, meet Bishop Kevin Magnus, who will be sharing God's prophetic word here in Revival at Gainesville Church of God. God bless you and amen. There are hundreds of options when choosing apparel or promotional items at J. Geyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. We're all about quality and competitive pricing. Sports items are in stock. Look for special pricing on Letterman jackets, corporate apparel, corporate gifts, and custom embroidery. All local high schools should check out the line of spirit wear and trophies. We're also offering custom screen printing available for any team sport. Be on the winning side when you choose J. Geyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. Locally owned and operated at 250 Dawsonville Highway, Gainesville. Call 770-718-0062 or on the web at jgeyer.com and trophycaseltd.com. There are moments in life that you wish would last forever. Dreams that really do come true. Treasures worth protecting and a future to prepare for. Turner Wooden Smith is with you every step of the way. Established in the Gainesville area in 1905, Turner Wooden Smith has become Northeast Georgia's largest independent insurance agency by offering professional service at competitive prices. Turner Wooden Smith, insuring your future since 1905. Smith's Cleaning of South Hall has many services to offer businesses throughout Hall County and the surrounding areas. No matter how small or how large your projects are, we can help. Smith's Cleaning of South Hall has two large industrial riding scrubbers that are available to clean manufacturing and or warehouse floors. Call Smith's Cleaning of South Hall at 770-531-1533 for a free estimate. 
We are back. I'm Gary Glenn. Hall County Sports Television is the show. In the midst of all of these summertime camps, a wintertime sport, got to jump on some training. Once again, they held one of the biggest wrestling camps around in the Georgia Mountain Center. Our Mark Eggers was there and talked with a couple of the folks involved in the Georgia Elite Wrestling Camp. All right, we're talking with Rodney Potter. Rodney is the director here at the Georgia Elite Wrestling Camp being held at the uh, Georgia Mountain Center. First of all, Rodney, it's June. They're saying it might be 90 degrees. We're at the other side of the calendar that most people associate with high school wrestling, but you've got a good turnout in there. Uh, it's not too bad, you know. Uh, yeah, it's June, you know. It's Georgia wrestling. People are wanting to wrestle, you know. Well, wrestling is becoming kind of a full-season sport. It's not just in the winter. These kids keep in shape all year long, don't they? It is. That's the way, uh, that's the way it's got to be to compete nowadays, you know. Well, tell me a little bit about the demographics, the kids that are in, in the gym right now. Uh, we get a lot from Georgia. You know, we get some. We get, uh, we got, uh, I think, one from Pennsylvania, a couple kids from Alabama, you know, so it's mostly southeast regional, but, uh, you know, we take them from everywhere. Now, we were just chatting about the fact that you wrestled in Georgia and in Illinois, and up in Illinois, wrestling's a big sport. That's my home state, but it's really starting to take off here in Georgia. Yeah, wrestling uh, isn't uh, what it was 20 years ago in Georgia. You know, it's definitely growing. Uh, every year we see um, better things and bigger changes, and, you know, hopefully that trend continues, and you know, the kids are wanting to learn. They're putting in the work in the off-season at camps like this and other camps and, uh, you know, competitions during the summertime, and that's what it's about. Now, some of our viewers might recognize you. That's because you were the coach at Gainesville before moving on to Mill Creek. Now, I was. I was. Now, you've gone from 3A to 5A. Uh, besides the obvious student body size difference, do you notice many differences in the programs? Uh, there's a difference from 3A to 5A, sure. Yeah, there's a, you know, I, I was in 5A before I was at Gainesville, and then I moved to 3A, and now I'm back to 5A. So, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. Uh, school size does make a difference, but uh, wrestling's wrestling. Now, here in Hall County, uh, the kids play football, for instance, in the, the grade school level, and then they move to the middle school level, and then they move to the high school level, and coaches are aware of their upcoming athletes. Uh, do you have a, such a situation in wrestling? Well, that's the game, you know, to develop a youth program, so you got kids feeding the high school system, and, you know, that's, uh, that's what we... Uh that's kind of the animal, you know. That's what we're looking to do. It, uh, it's more of a challenge, of course, in a, than it is in a sport like football or baseball or something where they're coming up and, uh, you know, wrestling's got its own challenges. But, uh, you know, you've got to build that youth program and hopefully you retain kids out of that youth program every year and feed them into the high school program that can, that can win for you. Now, you guys keep coming back to the Mountain Center here in, in Gainesville, and we're proud of our Mountain Center. Uh, obviously, this is a, a good gathering place for you all. Uh, it's, a, it's a great facility. They do a great job. It's clean. It's big. They accommodate us well. You know, hotels right across the street. It's, uh, it's a perfect facility for what we're doing. If our viewers want to learn more about your program, is there a place you can send them to uh, learn some more? www.gaeliterestling.com. Rodney, thank you very much for your time, thank and good luck. Thank you. All right, we're taking a minute out here at the uh, Georgia Elite Wrestling Camp to talk with Ethan. Ethan, tell me who you are, where you're from, how old you are, what grade you're in. Um, What's your last name? Dindy. I'm in seventh grade. I'm 13. Um, where do you go to school? I go to La Lafayette. Lafayette, are you going to be like uh, eighth grader or are you freshman in high school? I'll be a seventh grader. When did you start wrestling? What got you interested? Um, I, I grew up in a wrestling family, so I was three when I started wrestling. So your your dad's a wrestler? Yes. Sir. How about you? You got some brothers that wrestle? Uh, uh I I have one brother, but he doesn't wrestle, and then I've got a cousin Garrison who wrestles. Now, Ethan, have you been here to uh, the Georgia Mountain Center for this camp before? No. What do you think of all the guys that are here? There's some pretty good wrestlers. Yeah. So you learning something about yourself as well as some technique? Yes, sir. Do you think wrestling has advantages outside of just your body? Do you think it makes you a better person? Definitely. You're able to deal with situations? Yes, sir. Okay, well, what do you want to be when you get older? Um, I'm not sure. You think you might want to be a wrestling coach someday? Probably. This is a fun sport, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, well, best of luck to you, and we look forward to seeing your name in the newspaper in the next few years. Okay. Back to you, Gary. I'll come back with some more camp news right after this timeout. Hey, I'm Crazy Larry G. I may be high on the hill, but I got the lowest prices in the valley. I've instructed Doug and Mary to cut this furniture to the bone, even lower than a whale in the Pacific Ocean. Even if we have to auction it off at $175, bit of 15 with a quarter of a half, tell me. Just remember, if you buy it anywhere else, we, we both, both lose money. money. 
Proper maintenance is vital to the life of your car. Let the experts at Mountain View Auto Repair take care of all your vehicle needs. Owner Danny Hammock has over 50 years of experience in the automotive business and has earned a reputation of being honest and fair with his customers. We try to treat everybody like I want to be treated. You know, that works out pretty good. And uh, try to keep a price as low as possible to keep people coming in and give them a good price for their money. We do whatever turns up on a car, any kind of work, any kind of car, just uh, it don't really matter. We do it all. People say, when are you going to quit and retire? I say, oh, probably never. You know, as long as the Lord let me work, I'll probably be here working. I've been trading with Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair for about 20 years. I've always been very happy with his work. It's very easy for me to talk with him. He doesn't talk down to me. He explains it in a manner that I can understand. Most of my customers are like friends here, you know. I've known them so long and I count them as, most all of them as friends to me. Remember, when you want honest, reliable service, put Mountain View Auto Repair under your hood. If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKevel Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. My name is Lloyd Smith. I'm Renee Barnett. And my name's Alan Cudd. My name's Don Cooper. My name is Mike Stewart, and I attend McKeever Road United Methodist Church, the church on the hill here in Oakwood, Georgia. We'd love for you to come join us. At Lakeview this week, the camps turn to soccer and cheerleading. I dropped by to check in with the Lions. Uh, Kristen, tell me how you became the cheerleading sponsor here at Lakeview. Well, my little brother goes to Lakeview and he really enjoys it. And I was looking for a job and I heard that their cheerleading coach was not returning the next year. So I just came in, I met with Coach Roark, super nice guy, and I just got the job. It's a lot of fun. So you are at North Georgia College and State University right now? Yes, sir. And hoping to do what? Um, well, I'm signed up for an LSAT class right now, and hopefully I will get accepted into law school. Law school? So don't want to teach? Well, no, I love it. I, but some people are just called for it, and they're really good at it. And I'm, I'm more of a half a day. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into the cheerleading aspect of things? Well, you were a cheerleader in high school, correct? I was a cheerleader in high school. I cheered at Habersham Central football in competition. Um, I did gymnastics for a long time, and before I came here, I actually coached competitive gymnastics. Wow, okay, so you can bring a strong background. Tell me a little bit about the camp this week. Well, the girls this week, they have three major rotations of cheer, dance, and stunt and tumbling, and we spend about 30 or 40 minutes at each rotation. Um, at the end of the week, the, the varsity girls will make a little routine for them, and they'll perform it for their parents on the last day of camp. Well, that's kind of cool. What do you hope to accomplish out of all this? I mean, I saw all kinds of ages out there, young girls, tiny little girls, up until mm, some larger girls. Well, I really think that cheerleading in, in any team sport, really, but especially cheerleading, because you have to be so positive and so outgoing, it brings out a lot of your personality. The first day we had a few really shy girls, and this morning they came running in and they were so excited. And it, it's a good bonding experience for girls to be together, and that's important, because you know sometimes girls are a little catty, but it brings them closer together to be a team together. Now, you said you were in competition cheerleading and competitive gymnastics, and that's a little bit different from the way it used to be there. Cheerleading is yes. now a competitive sport. Do uh, you see the chance for that aspect to be incorporated into the camp, or is it just for fun? Um, well, we give them the routine, which is fun, and that's similar to competition cheerleading because they perform a routine. It has all the same aspects. It has stunting and dancing and cheering, um, tumbling. The girls are doing cartwheels and rolls and stuff like that. Um, but the camp is really just more for fun. You don't want to make it too much pressure on the girls. And now for our second part of our sports camps at Lakeview Academy, we go to the soccer pitch, and we've got the soccer coach here, Philip Chittero, played his high school soccer at Johnson High School and his college soccer at North Georgia College and State University. Philip, third year here at Lakeview, teaching middle school PE and so forth, right? Yes, sir. All right. 
Tell me a little bit about the, the soccer program, what you're trying to accomplish with the camp this week. Uh, with the camp, really, what we want to get is a good foundation of the fundamentals, which I think is is crucial at an early age. The kids need to learn how to develop and, and be able to dribble and pass and, and shoot at a young age so when they get to the high school level where I'm at, um, they can do those things and we can work more on the, the uh, technical stuff of the game. And uh, I think we got a good turnout this week. We've got 25 kids. You trying to lay a foundation for Lakeview Academy or are you just coaching everybody that shows up? Um, we had just about everybody here is from Lakeview, but we would like to get more involved in it. We would hope that uh, the kids in the county would like to come out and, and see what we're all about. These sports camps in the summer, is it both fun and learning and a lot of work, all of the above, I guess, maybe? Yeah, I like to incorporate, you know, especially as the younger that you get, the, the more fun it needs to be and, and, and engage so that they enjoy what they're doing out here so that they stay involved with the sport. And I try to do a good part of that and split it up with, with you want some fun mixed with some, with some hard work at the same time. What have you seen out here so far? Is that what seems to be taking place? Yeah, I, th I think we've got a lot, a lot of good... Uh, young skill coming up in the school and and the kids are working hard and even though it's feels like it's 110 degrees it's they're still working hard well i gotta ask you a little bit about your team now coming up next year what you're going to have on the soccer pitch for the lions uh for the on the boys side we have uh, we have a good young strong core group of guys coming back and i i look forward to hopefully us making it into the, the state playoffs and on the girls side we've got about 12 freshmen that are coming up from a team that um, only lost two games in the last two years in the middle school. So um, a lot of good expectations for, for both the boys and girls next year. And maybe you're laying the groundwork for some future teams here. I like what I see. We are Gainesville Church of God. We have help, hope, and healing. Hallelujah. Join us for personal prayer Saturday, June 25th at 10.30 a.m. Stay in the privacy of your car. This is open to everyone without obligation. Come as you are. Let us share God's gift of help, hope, and healing with you. Also, meet Bishop Kevin Magnus, who will be sharing God's prophetic word here in Revival at Gainesville Church of God. God bless you and amen. Falcon Parkway Fitness is your neighborhood family fitness center. The friendly, knowledgeable staff, all certified trainers, are there to help you achieve your fitness goals in a state-of-the-art facility, all for less than a dollar a day for a membership. Falcon Parkway Fitness is open to fit your schedule. Where else can you find child care, group fitness, personal training, a day spa, and a hair and nail salon all under one roof? That's Falcon Parkway Fitness behind the public shopping center in Flowery Branch. Visit us on the web at www.falconpkwifitness.com. I'm Pastor Maddox with World Redeeming Ministries, Senior Pastor. And I just want to let you know that if you would just want to come out to a great fellowship where people are great people and have great fun and fellowship in Christ, then I just believe that this is the place for you. So I'm inviting you to have an opportunity just to come to set in and listen to the word where it's being preached with simplicity, where it's being preached with clarity, but most of all, understanding. And I want to tell you this, your life will never be the same again. All right, a few other notes before we leave. Congrats to the Gainesville Braves 12 and under baseball team. They finished first in the Lanier Travel Baseball League's AA division and won the league's championship tournament. The North Hall Trojans All Skills Baseball Camp will be held for first through fifth grades from 9 a.m. to noon beginning next Monday, that's June 27th, at North Hall High School. For more info, go to www.trojansbaseball.com. This week, the famous Robert Sapp Baseball Camp is being held at the Hog Mountain Complex at Flowery Branch. We'll have more on that next week. By the way, Flowery Branch baseball coach Scott Myers, for his efforts in getting the Falcons back to the baseball playoffs, was named the Times All-Area Baseball Coach of the Year in last Sunday's paper. And so we'll give him an honorable mention as well in our Coaches of the Spring Awards. Next week, it's a basketball camp at the branch. Coach Duke Mullis at duke.mullis at halco.org has details on that. Okay. 
Here's a few pictures we didn't get to last week. Baseball player Jason Williamson out of Riverside won the Ken Stennett Coaches Award up at Maryville College in Tennessee. His dad, David Williamson, an old Jefferson alumnus. Speaking of which, up uh, Jefferson alumni, that is. Here's my first cousin, Andy Wilkes, who won the 2011 Xterra Georgia Trail Run Series Championship for his age group. For this, Andy also earned a complimentary entry into the 2011 Xterra Trail Running National Championships in Ogden, Utah. That'll take place on Sunday, September 25th of this year. And here's one of the bodybuilding Hereford brothers, Lloyd and Logan, together. Yeah, looking good. And finally, as many of you know, I was hit by an automobile last week as I attended the United Methodist North Georgia Conference in Athens last week. I was up there representing my home church, McEver Road, UMC, where we have our Hall County Sports Television studio. They even made some of the news sites, uh, including a shot in the Athens Banner Herald as an unidentified pedestrian. Now, also notice the group to the side praying for me. Well, I have been the beneficiary of dozens of calls and emails and Facebook posts and get well wishes of all sorts and, and the beneficiary of literally hundreds if not thousands of prayers on my behalf. I want all of you to know how much I deeply appreciate that. It is touching and encouraging and humbling all at the same time. Special thanks to our outgoing district superintendent, Dr. Gerald Thomas of the United Methodist Church and our new pastor here at McEver Road, UMC, Rob Bruce, for staying with me for a couple of hours. Guys, you didn't have to do that, but I deeply appreciate it. Also, thanks to the emergency and medical personnel in Athens for their kindness, and of course, to my lovely wife, Jill, who I worried a good bit, and still do sometimes, but thanks, Jill, for taking care of me. I cannot thank all of you enough. That's our show for this week. I'm Gary Glenn. Join us next week right here for more Hall County Sports. Hall County Sports is brought to you in part by Green Ford on Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Check out the latest deals. And remember, when you go green, go Green Ford. By Mountain View Auto Repair, a full-service shop for all of your automotive needs. Call Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair at 770-535-7278. And by McEver Road United Methodist Church. Visit us on McEver Road in Oakwood with three worship services every Sunday morning, Kidstown and adult small groups. McEver Road United Methodist Church is dedicated to transforming the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. Proper maintenance is vital to the life of your car. Let the experts at Mountain View Auto Repair take care of all your vehicle needs. Owner Danny Hammock has over 50 years of experience in the automotive business and has earned a reputation of being honest and fair with his customers. We try to treat everybody like I want to be treated. You know, that works out pretty good. And uh, Try to keep a price as low as possible to keep people coming in and give them a good price for their money. We do whatever turns up on a car, any kind of work, any kind of car, just uh, it don't really matter. We do it all. People say, when are you going to quit and retire? I say, oh, probably never. You know, as long as the Lord let me work, I'll probably be here working. I've been trading with Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair for about 20 years. I've always been very happy with his work. It's very easy for me to talk with him. He doesn't talk down to me. He explains it in a manner that I can understand. Most of my customers are like friends here. You know, I've known them so long, and I count them as, most all of them as friends to me. Remember, when you want honest, reliable service, put Mountain View Auto Repair under your hood. Hey, I'm Larry G. If you're looking for high quality furniture, come see us at G's Home Furnishings and Appliances. We have the highest quality furniture on the market because we buy directly from the factory and we cut that middleman out. And that means that I can save you a ton of money but still give you the highest quality furniture on the market. So come see us. Just remember, if you buy it anywhere else, we both lose money.
If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKevra Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it.